Oh god! Holy sh! That's so creepy, dude. Hey guys, JJ here, and today I have a brand new indie survival horror game heavily inspired by classic survival horror games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Today I have Post Trauma. Now I've been following this game for quite a while now, and the demo just released. A quick synopsis of this game, you wake up on a train and you have to figure out what's going on. There's a lot of puzzles, some very creepy enemies, and amazing atmosphere. If you guys would like to play Post Trauma's demo for yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description. So with that being said, here is Post Trauma. pretty disgusting and eerie I like it okay here we go where am I this looks really good I love these uh, dynamic fixed camera angles Okay. I don't recognize any of the stations. Ooh, I like this. Another ad. It does not seem important. Oh, we got like a Silent Hill 4. The room vibe going on here with the gates. Or the chains on the door. There's a padlock here. Try to open it? Sure. Oh, we don't know the code. Okay, so we're gonna have to be mindful. We got triangle equals one. Now there's gonna be a lot of puzzles in this game, which I like, but we're going to have to try to figure that out. It will not open. Where the fuck am I? It's hard stuck. How did I get here? Okay, I'm looking at all the walls to see if we got... Maybe I should ask for help. Let's try it. Oh, that was creepy. We got 8805 on the door over here. Very creepy. Love these camera angles. And his head moves just like in Silent Hill. The newspaper is from 13 years ago. Okay, we got a little bit more. Blue Lake. Quartz Terminal. Spring. Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Okay, so triangle would be number one. Okay, let's continue on. I can't pass through it. I can pass through if I crouch. There we go. Okay, so we got, let me write this down. Square, triangle, circle, X, triangle. Getting some Dutch camera angles. Means something's about to happen. Two, five. Okay. There's a flashlight, we pick it up. This feels very much like Silent Hill. I love this so far. Oh, that's disgusting. Holy crap. This is really good. I don't like the sounds it's making. 
Oh my god, yeah, this is... This is great so far. Okay, so we got... Uh... Okay, I'm cutting ahead a little bit here, but I'm taking notes and I'm trying to figure this puzzle out. So blue equals one. Green equals four. We don't know exactly what green is yet. Oh, Jesus. What the hell, man? That's so creepy. Oh. Triangle equals one. Okay, I got that in my notes. So let's, let's give it a try. Wait a minute. I didn't see that earlier. Square equals nine. I should be able to solve this now. Was that there before? Oh no, look at the, okay. So square equals nine just appeared there now. This is cool, man. This is just like Silent Hill. Okay, so we got triangle equals one and square equals nine. Much easier to solve this puzzle now. Oh, I got it. Okay, I did a little guessing there at the end, but it worked. So I'll take it. But that was a good puzzle. Oh, this game looks really good. I love how cinematic it looks. What was that? Twisting into madness here. It's locked with a key. We got the halo of the sun. Looks like a wooden arm is holding a key. Should I take it? Yeah. All right. This machine uses a currency I have never seen. It's locked from the other side. This game so far has it all. Uh, I'm intrigued. It's very ominous. There's definitely horror vibes. Paranormal. Puzzles. The ambiance. It's all here. Atmosphere. Okay. Okay, so we got the wooden arm key. I took a key from the wall. That was creepy. An axe. It almost broke, but I should. Yeah, definitely take it. Just make sure I know how to use it. Okay. Okay, that's how you. All right, I got it. So we got some combat too. I like that. This is all made by one developer. This is impressive. There's a gold coin here. Maybe I should pick it up. Yes. We got another puzzle, maybe. There are three statues here. The middle one, it's missing its head. I don't know if this is supposed to be like this or if it has been vandalized. Okay, that's got to have some significance. I think these are oxygen tanks, but they seem empty.
Looks like it's the only exit, but someone or something is there, sobbing, looking at me. Oh god, I see it! Holy shit! Oh my god. Duh. Let's not go that way. Oh, I got it. Okay, so I gotta head back now that I got that gold coin and use it on that uh, vending machine. It was a currency I've never seen before. That would make the most sense. <clears throat> There's that knocking again. Let's see what this changed into. No, it doesn't. Okay. There we go. Sculpture head. Perfect. And that's still locked. Yeah, this is, this completely nails like a, a Silent Hill game. I'm always down for playing more of this type of game, especially these indie, indie survival horror games. I love these. There we go. And uh, I don't want to fight this thing. Okay, it's gone. Oh, that's creepy. There are a lot of mannequins here. One of them seems covered in blood. Yeah, actually, I want to just check behind the stairs here. Nothing, okay. Such good atmosphere. What is this thing doing here? Do I have anything for that? Cigarettes and axe? No, I doubt it. <laughs> Photos of European architectural styles. My daughter used to explain me uh, the difference is when she was young. It's locked. Uh oh, something's coming up. What is that? Oh, Jesus! I think it's an art piece. The artist's name is below. Doesn't say who. I think it's a dead body. At least it's not moving. That's always good, right? I don't know what this is. A heart? The lock is broken and there's more knocking. Every time something's about to progress, you get the knocking. Oh yeah, to add to to the silent hill, we're in a subway. The generator seems to be in good condition. The fuel gauge reads empty. We need to find some gas. Uh, here's another coin. This one is made of silver. Should I take it? Yes. So we're going to probably have to go back to that machine, I assume, but let's just check up here a little ways. Oh, there that thing is again. She's giving me a green stone. Should I take it? 
Yes. Please don't attack me. Nothing over here, okay. Let's head back down. Green stone. <clears throat> the gate is locked, but with that thing over there, I don't know if I want it open. Open it. Yeah, I, I don't know if I want to go in there. Here we go. Machine has no power, so we gotta restore the power, then put the silver coin in there. So we gotta find some gas. What was that? It's the same symbol from before. So let's try putting the green stone on it. No. That don't work. There, it looks like gas. Some fuel cans, but all empty. Oh, shit. Nothing useful. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. <coughs> A baby crying. It's locked. That'll be our next... Next thing to go through. So we gotta find some... Oh, that wasn't there before. Oh, God. Another key. I think the arm has more blood. Now, take it. Ooh, registration key, edit to inventory. Let's see, that's probably not the registration, but we'll check. I think it's a key from the stairs office, okay. Registration, here we go. Oh, nice, a save room. Save your progress? That's awesome. There's a fuel can here. It's got like a chill, relaxing song. Someone has been living here. There's a note here. Trust the bloody one. Okay, I did grab that key. Should I not have grabbed something else? All right, let's go. Get that generator going. So we gotta trust the bloody one. Okay, generator is running. I don't like that sound. That's open now. Lots of dead bodies here. The smell is horrible. I know I should go back, but I want to check everything feel like this opening is going to lead me to something, but I do got to put that coin in the machine. Whoa. I can't see the bottom of the pit. A red light is shining inside. Can I fall? You know what? I th think I can fall, so I'm not even going to try. Those are a bunch of arms on the wall. Dude, this is awesome. I, I really want... <laughs> 
more of this game. I'm telling you, man. Indie developers, they're, they're keeping the classic survival horror genre alive. They deserve all the recognition. Oh, God. Holy shit. That's so creepy, dude. Let me get this in. I did it. I got a redstone added to the inventory. Okay, cool. Okay, let's try to get around this thing. Oh, I can't hit it. Run. Oh, God. That's not good. Nothing. Oh, God. Get out. Get out of the inventory. Okay. I, uh... Oof. Gotta figure out where to drop those stones. Let's just get out of here. I'm hurting. Oh, it goes down the stairs, too. Yeah, it's so creepy. I'm out. Holy crap. Okay. It's still out there. I can hear it swinging at me. I gotta gather myself. Let's try to kill this thing. Oh, God. Whew, it was right on me. I hope I don't die and have to do all that over. Shit, this actually could work. I just gotta face it. Wait, is that it? Oh god. This thing is awesome, dude. It's so creepy. I'm out of stamina. Shit, I'm out of stamina. Whew. Oh god. We're both swinging. Oh no! Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. Round two. Hit it. Oh, that was it. Okay, all right, that worked. You just gotta hit it when it crumples up like that. Okay, awesome drop anything that was a good enemy though I like that that thing was creepy okay we gotta probably put the stones here that one was trust the bloody one we got a puzzle going. Your friend is looking at the back of an angel. The blue, okay. The rebel is looking at herself. The ghost is scared of chains. The dancer is shy and proud that the proud can't read. Okay, another puzzle. All right, so your friend is looking at the back of an angel. Oh, God. I got it. <laughs> Should I give... Uh, she is giving me a blue stone. Should I take it? Yes. Okay. Now we got all three stones. That's locked. Let's see what's over here. Now we gotta go figure out where to use them. You're knocking again. <laughs> I 
It's okay. So we can walk over it now. Oh, there's all the stones. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, this is so cool. Oh. I think that might be the end of the demo. Post trauma. That was fantastic. I love that. Absolutely nailed the classic survival horror Silent Hill. To a T. I would love to see more of that. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. I absolutely love this and cannot wait to play more. But now I'm curious to know your thoughts. What did you guys think of Post Trauma? If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see me continue this game once it releases, let me know down below in the comments. For more indie survival horror games, make sure to subscribe. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon supported channel and also supported by our YouTube members. So if you'd like to become a member and get access to custom badges, emojis, and exclusive live streams, click that join button down below. I have the Duke here at the Residents of Evil to tell you a little about our sponsor, G Fuel. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? The Residence of Evil has expanded its services. Perhaps you're in need of a little pick-me-up. I recommend the G Fuel. You can even get a fair discount if you use the code ROE upon purchase. And as always, we thank you for your patronage, stranger. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you back at the Residence of Evil.